वेल्स क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप 1996 द फर्स्ट ओडी मैच प्लेड बिटवीन न्यूजीलैंड एंड इंग्लैंड एट सरदार पटेल स्टेडियम मोटेरा अहमदाबाद इन 14 फरवरी 1996 But Team England dropped four catches, including Nathan Astall, when he was on one. Got him! Oh, he's dropped him! Well, he hit the outside edge, and that's gone in the air. Slugged it to the right-hand side of Thorpe. Really should have been taken. That's an unfortunate start for England in terms of catches. Yeah, good ball. This it just caught the batsman in two minds. He's first of all going to play. Spearman on strike. Got him. Dropped him again. I can't believe this. What is going on there, Fari? Another one to slip. Another one down. England are making it tough for themselves. They've got to get a wicket here quickly. Well, that was an absolute cuckoo, wasn't it? It's a little drive. It just lollipop to first slip. He could have caught it with one hand. The New Zealand opener batsman Nathan Astall, third ODI hundred, all this season. There it is, the first century of the World Cup for Nathan Astall. When the team England captain Mike Atherton was dismissed, he remained on the field to act as a runner for the batsman Graham Hick. Yeah, that's better. Well bowled. That time uh, that was a bit lucky, and this could be close. Well, he tried to throw it over the top of the stumps. The runner was wide, and uh, it just looked to me for a, for a second there that Atherton wasn't sure whether to go. It's 48 for one. Loss there of Atherton. Here we see almost a mix-up here and a run-out. Had it been a direct hit or a better throw, Atherton might well have been struggling. Of course, Michael Atherton, the England captain, running for the injured Graham Hick. Thirty-five. Very subtle batsman Graham Hick, run out by his runner captain Mike Atherton by a wrong run call decision. Cause the mix-up. This could be close. This will be out. He's got him. That's all over. The run out. I'll oh, give him out. Go on. I reckon that was out by miles. I can't understand why that requires a run out. Well, let's have a good look at it here, Tony, because this uh, result is so crucial to both sides. Because it's going to be Graham Hick that will be run out. If Michael Atherton hasn't made his ground, and there's the return. Is he short? He looks to be well short, Tony. I think your call is absolutely right. That's a good one for New Zealand. Yes, he's out by about uh, a metre there, a long way back. What a dreadful mix-up. So, Hick has to make his uh, way back to the pavilion with Atherton. That is the end of that. Very, very disappointing from England's point of view. 85 of 101 balls out run out in England, 144 for four. In the result, England lost the match by just 11 runs. Two from Chris Cairns. Last ball of the match. Ellingworth has a big heave, and it goes through to the keeper, and New Zealand have won the opening match of the World's World Cup for 1996. Excellent performance by the New Zealanders, who scored 239 for six. England came up short and finished at 228 for the loss of nine. Jubilation amongst the New Zealanders, and they've started the World Cup from their point of view in the right manner.